If you've been thinking about mixing and matching colors and prints and you're not quite sure where to go, well, let me help give you a couple of pointers. I'm Mari with Mari Sews and thanks for hanging with me. So I've been scrolling through some of my Instagram feeds, mostly for hashtag Project Dress -a Girl, and something has really kind of like stuck out to me and that is that you all are really good at matching prints and colors in ways that you typically wouldn't think of. So I thought that we could take this opportunity to look through the feed and just kind of talk about why some of these patterns and colors really work together. And the reason why this has actually been on my mind is because I went through a class by That's So Monica where she was talking about combining different colors and prints and things like that, and I felt so inspired. The biggest takeaway that I had from that class was that every color combination isn't going to be for everyone. Every pattern match isn't going to be for everyone, and that's okay. So if you like something in particular, but other people aren't necessarily jiving with it, you do you and let them do what it is that they like to do. So with that being said, let's head on over to the feed so that way we can look at some of these dresses. Over on Instagram, I just typed in hashtag Project Dress -a Girl so that we can take a look at all of the different dresses here. And there are so many. So let's start with this ladybug dress by Ms. Andrea because for me, it felt really unexpected that there was this purple fabric paired with this red polka dotted fabric. And honestly, it works because the red polka dots are pulled in from the actual ladybugs. There's decorative stitching around the pockets. These fabrics look lovely together. So now let's look through the feed for another example. Oh, here's a good one. So this little pastel dress is just so adorable. You see that it's got the blue piping or the little blue accents around the pockets. And then it's got two different color sleeves. It's got a pink sleeve and a green sleeve. Both of those colors are actually found in the main fabric of this dress itself. So that really pulls together nicely. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna kind of scroll through here a bit more to find another unexpected example. Oh yes, this one, this green and pink one. Let me tell you about it. Let me tell you all, these dresses look so much better in person than any of these pictures could ever convey. I mean, I've gotten probably about two dozen mailed to me already and they are just, they are jaw dropping. Let's talk about this one because I feel like this one uses some colors in a really unexpected way, but it works so well together. So with this dress, we have the main fabric, which is the green and pink flowers. And then up here, she used pink bias tape on her sundress to pull in those pink flowers. But look at these pockets, you all. Now this is the reason why I really wanted to pull this dress out and show it to you because the gingham here that she used is just absolutely giving me some wonderful vibes here. And it's really an unexpected fabric choice. And I think that the added little ribbon bows here that she had added on in the green right on top of this pink really kind of just pulls the entire look together. Now this is a big girl's dress, so I'm trying to get back as far as I can so you can see it. But look at how beautiful this dress really does look when it's all together. In my opinion, this pattern matching really works because this color blends so beautifully with the colors on the flowers. So really don't hesitate to mix patterns, especially if they're within the same color family. Now I'd like to show you three little dresses that BC Sews made because wow, the color blocking on these is great. Now zooming in, you can see that this fabric here is a blue fabric with pink and yellow details on it. 
and she used pink and yellow to color block. Same thing with this little blue dress where she pulled in the yellow accents to go with that yellow on that floral. And let's take a look at this green one because how precious is this? It's a lot of green pattern matching, but it works because they're all in the same tones and then they're paired with white fabric to kind of pull it all together. What lovely little dresses. Now there's one last one that I want to show you and it's actually made by So Joy and it has a very unique way of pairing fabrics and I wanted to make sure that I pointed this out. Here it is. So here she, she actually used a jean looking fabric but it has embroidered little red flowers on it and then she matched that with a panel of red flowers going down the center of the dress and then the dress ties at the waist and it's in the same fabric as the embroidered so it really does add a really cute pop of interest visual interest in a really wonderful way Feel free to jump on over to Instagram and just type in hashtag Project Dressagirl and take a look at all of the different pictures that come up with that hashtag because I find that they're really inspiring and they're all so different. I mean, you've got the dresses for the little ones and then you also have dresses for the big girls as well because you know, big girls need a little bit of love too. Speaking of which, Talisha over at Creativity by T focused in on the big girls for her dress a girl dresses and make sure that you go over here and check out her video because she's showing some big girl love and I think you're gonna like it too. So let's all hop on over to her video and give her some love and support. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.